Light headquarters. If you are here, give me a comment. Let me know that you guys are here. It's really, really great to see you. Let me know where you're from, how the weather is in your neck of the woods, and then we will go ahead and get started. Uh, let me go ahead and pull this up right here. We're going to start looking at the comments section. Again, guys, if you are tuning in at the very least, say hello. Tell me where you're from so I know that you guys are here. Uh, Austin, what's going on? Yeah, we had to reboot the internet real quick. Mike, where we live? <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's a valid question these days. Are we live? <laughs> I'm like, please comment and let me know that you're here. Like, seriously, I need you to let me know you're here. <laughs> What's going on? We got Nathan, Steven, Chris, Marina. We got Tommy, Nicole, Skinny Rogers is in the house. Of course, we have Mr. Reese. Doug, Ramon, Mab, Clyde, Ken from Houston. I bet it's a little spicy in Houston right now. Uh, what, what is the temperature there, like 102? Uh, we got Aberdeen, Washington. Maybe it is nice there, actually, up in Washington. Oh yeah, North Carolina is hot for sure. Uh, looks like you're nailing the Olight visit. Thank you, Rebecca, I really appreciate that. Uh, to be honest with you guys, uh, if I appear a little bit tired, we literally worked a 16 hour day yesterday. I didn't even get back to my hotel until like almost one in the morning. Um, so <laughs> we made like four videos yesterday. We are pretty much just trying to do everything we possibly can while I'm here until I go back to the US. Um, we have just been working nonstop, but I know it's gonna be absolutely worth it in the end. You guys have probably only seen about 10% of all the work that we have done while we're here, and I can't wait for all of these videos to start coming out and all of this content we've been working on to start actually being uh, published so you guys can see it. But, um, but yeah, I really appreciate your guys' support. Um, it's, uh, we're grinding out here, but it's definitely worth it. We got an amazing sale going on right now. So of course we need to talk about it. Like I said, uh, yesterday we talked about all of the O lanterns. We did kind of an O lantern special last night. And then the night before we did a warrior mini three special. Um, you know, we talked about the warrior mini three features compared to the warrior mini two. Um, and that was a couple days ago. If you guys want to watch those videos, if you haven't watched them yet, or even if you did and you want to refer back to it or anything like that, you just go to the Olight World YouTube channel and you click the live section because it's going to show you like uploaded videos, but then live videos are going to be on a separate tab. If you click the live videos, that's where you're going to see all of these studio videos that I've been doing. And also you guys are gonna be able to see the factory tour videos as well. Um, you know, we're gonna continue cranking those out as well. So we, we got a lot of stuff in the pipeline. I'm really excited. But today we are gonna talk about our keychain lights because of course we just came out with the iMini 2. And then of course, as you can see here, I have an entire array of O knife models. And we're gonna go ahead and talk about those as well because we just came out with the Freeze and also the Freeze 4. So on the table right here, I also have the Freeze 2, I have the Freeze 3, I've got the Roboto, and I've got the Drever, our, our biggest and kind of most popular O-Knife models that we offer. So let's go ahead and just talk about like what's going on with the sale. So we've got the i3e in orange, which you can actually get for free if you are using a brand new account that you have never ordered with before. Okay, if you guys want to use your yellow diamond account um, to place your orders, you know, just as an example, you guys are going to get the i1R2 Pro in the prism orange instead. Okay, so brand new customers get the i3e. Older customers, people who have ordered in the past, pretty much everybody watching right now is uh, going to get the i1R2 Pro. So we'll go ahead and start talking about kind of the differences with these keychain lights. So the first iMini was basically just the, the smallest thing that we've ever produced, but it has a really cool feature and that is that it's magnetically attached to the keychain itself and you can actually remove the light from the keychain and use it separately from your keys. So if you have your keys dangling from your belt or something like that, if you use a carabiner, what I like to do is put it on the loop right here 
and then I actually tuck my keys into my back pocket. You guys know what I'm talking about. That's how I like to carry my keys. So if I'm going to use a light, for example, the iMini, all I have to do is pull the keys out of my pocket so now they're hanging from the carabiner and I can just grab the iMini and use it as I please while my keys are actually still on my belt loop. And then when I'm done, I can just put it back, it turns itself off, end of story, I just use my flashlight without actually having to hold all of my keys in my hand. I think that is an incredible experience and I think that experience is vastly superior to using one of our regular keychain lights, you know? Because the i1R2 Pro, it's got 180 lumens. It's type C rechargeable. It also has a five lumen low mode, okay? So this thing is, the power on the i1R2 Pro is out of control compared to the other keychain lights that we offer. But again, if you want to use it, you're actually going to have to take your keys, put all your keys in your hand, and use the flashlight while all your keys are in your hand. Whereas with these ones, you, you can literally just remove it from the base, use it as you please, and then attach it back magnetically. I think a lot of you guys know about this feature of this light, but you know some of the people watching might be new. Um, but I, I just wanted to, to, to talk about this feature and talk about kind of my usage philosophy with it because I love this feature. The only thing is the iMini, the original iMini is simply just not very bright. It's only 10 lumens, guys. And it also has, uh, uh, it has removable batteries. So because of that, when this light dies, you actually have to swap out the batteries. It's not rechargeable. So my two complaints with the original iMini is that it's not bright enough and you actually have to replace the batteries instead of charging it. I love the rechargeable feature. Obviously, all of us here at Olight, we like charging things instead of purchasing new batteries and replacing them, right? So what did we do with the iMini 2? We made it brighter and we made it rechargeable. And we even put this little loop right here, this little mini carabiner that you can attach to your key ring. So not only can you remove the light from the base magnetically, just like the iMini, but also if you want to, you could just open up this little baby carabiner, right? I'm gonna say, when I say something small, I like the word baby, I don't know why, but, uh, <laughs> but we got this little baby carabiner and you can remove it from that and then all you do is remove this little silicone sleeve and then you can actually plug this in directly to a USB wall adapter, just like a thumb drive, right? So then when you wanna put it back on your keys when it's done charging, you just put the little sleeve back on to make sure that port is protected and then you just pop it into the little baby carabiner again and it's back on your keys. So not only do you not have to actually hold your keys when you're using the product? Because again, it's just magnetic, right? But also when it comes time to charge it, you also don't have to actually take it off of the little split ring, which you know hurts your fingernails, it's annoying. I hate putting keys on and off of my keychain. It just sucks. It hurts your fingers, hurts your fingernail. I, I just uh, it like makes me cringe just thinking about like taking a key off of a key ring, right? So because of that, we've got this little mini carabiner. So you just pop it off of that and you keep this mini carabiner connected to the actual split ring. So you never actually have to remove anything from your key split ring. So uh, it's very well thought out. You know what I mean? Like, like, I hope you guys are going with me on this. I hope you're like understanding all the things that I'm saying about like the user experience of this product. But like, I think it's just fantastic. Um, it's 50 lumens. Uh, it lasts for an hour before you actually have to plug it in. Keep in mind, you're not gonna walk your dog with the iMini, okay? You're not gonna walk your dog with this flashlight. That's why we sell the Warrior Mini 3, you know? But to use it as a backup, Maybe you drop something in the movie theater. Maybe you're looking in your backpack for something. Maybe you're looking in your glove box or center console. Um, maybe you just need to tie your shoe when you're walking at night. Any type of like small little task, like little EDC task, 
you're, you're going to be able to take care of very easily and, and in the simplest way possible with the iMini 2, okay? So I, I just think the whole entire experience of this product is fantastic. Like, I, I like when products are designed in a way that is the best way possible for everyday usage, right? You don't have to take it from your split ring. You don't have to replace the batteries anymore. You, you don't have to hold your keys in your hand when you use the light. It's magnetically attached. We all love the magnetic stuff here at Olight. I love the magnetic tail caps on our normal flashlights. Like, it, it just has so much going for it and it is just such an obvious upgrade over the original iMini, okay? Also, what's the craziest part about this is during our summer sale that's going on right now is these are only like a dollar more than the original iMini, but you're getting a flashlight that goes from 10 lumens up to 50 lumens, right? Because the original iMini was only 10 lumens. So you've got five times the output, right? And then also you've got this, the, uh, the little mini carabiner that it comes with, it's rechargeable. It still has the same design philosophy and features, but even more features. And these are $15.99 during the sale. You can get them for even much less if you get them in a bundle with something else. Like for example, one of my favorite bundles of the sale, and I mentioned this a couple days ago in the live video, is the green Warrior Mini 3 with the green iMini 2. So then you've got your pocket flashlight, right? You got your pocket light, and then you've got your iMini 2 on your keys, you know, on your carabiner, you know, however you like to carry it. And there you go, you got your backup light, you got your primary light, and you're ready to rock and roll. So I, I think, you know, that's a really good setup. I think that bundle is less than $70 to get an entire EDC flashlight setup taken care of. I think that's an incredible deal. Keep in mind, you know, we have a long warranty. We have a 30 day return policy. I mean, we are here for you guys. Our customer service is top notch in the flashlight industry. So we have your back, you know what I mean? So I would highly suggest trying out the iMini 2. It's worth the $15.99, okay? I've had cocktails at bars that cost more than $15.99, guys. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Just being honest with you. So like, give it a shot, give it a shot. And again, if you get it bundled with another product, it actually ends up being less. Like for example, the Warrior Mini 3 by itself on our website right now is like $62.99. So it's like 63 bucks. But if you get the bundle, there's an additional discount from getting the bundle. So when you get the bundle, it's only a few dollars more to get the iMini 2. So if you're getting the Warrior Mini 3 and you get it with the iMini 2, you're only paying like five bucks for the iMini 2. I can't believe I'm standing here trying to sell you guys something that costs like less than 20 bucks, but here I am, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's, just, it's just a no brainer purchase, man. You know what I mean? So I would highly suggest picking these up today, guys. I would highly suggest picking these up. I know uh, we got Steven in the comment section who just got his order today. Thank you so much, brother. Uh, order should be here tomorrow. Thank you so much, Ethan. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, this is awesome. So anyways, there it is. We've got the iMini 2, which is just such a better flashlight than the original iMini and it's basically the same price. And again, you can get it for like literally five bucks extra if you get it with the Warrior Mini 3. I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable. I, all right, I'm gonna stop talking about it because it just, it sells itself. <laughs> um, all right, let's go ahead and move on. So we've got the i3e guys. I'm sure the people watching this right now probably have like five or six of them at least. Um, it's a wonderful flashlight to collect because we come out with it in so many different colors. When people in the Facebook group, um, you know, post pictures of their i3e collection, it's really fun, right? I mean, we have all these different colors of this light and they're not that big, right? So they're very easy to collect. They're not going to take up a bunch of room in your house. Um, the performance is good. They have a removable battery, AAA battery. All it is is twist to turn on and off. They're 90 lumens. They have a large split ring. 
And we've got them in so many different fun colors and the cost is very low on this product, you know? Um, I think this is a fantastic light to collect, you know? Obviously, the people who are collecting Marauder Minis, um, you know, for that, that's, that's a whole nother thing. Those people are spending big money on those products. But you can easily collect the i3e. It doesn't take up that much room in your house. They look beautiful. We did a bunch of different colors. They're extremely reliable. When you take pictures of them, people really like it and enjoy it. Um, so I, I think it's one of the best Olights to collect and it won't break the bank, you know? These cost maybe like 10 bucks. And then also we do these for free all the time during our sales. Um, so, you know, the i3e is just a wonderful, just kind of traditional keychain light. Does it have all of the innovation and all of the wild features that the iMini 2 has? No, but is it crazy reliable and have we sold a million of these things? Yes, we have, you know? So uh, I think it's one of the most reliable keychain lights that you can get. I mean, we've been selling them for years and years. There's so many of them out there being used on a daily basis. Uh, here's an example, here's an example. I went to visit my girlfriend's family. Um, I, think it was, I think it was last year when I did this. I think it was last year when I did this. I'm not sure, it might've been the year before. Anyways, I went, we went to Michigan to visit my girlfriend's family. We're actually going to Michigan uh, when I get back from China as well. Um, but what I did is I brought an entire box of i3Es with me. And what I did is I gave an i3e to literally everyone who had a keychain. And I said, hey, put this on your keys. Like, just, just toss it on your keychain. So then I went back there like a year later and I see the i3e still on everybody's keychain. And it's, you know, scratched up and super used. And I asked them about it. I'm like, so, so how's the keychain light been doing for you? And they're like, oh, it's great. Works fine. No problem. So like, I literally put this on people's keys, they use the crap out of it, and it's good to go. And these aren't even flashlight people, these are just regular people and that, you know, I said, hey, you can always use a flashlight on your keychain, just use it. And it's, it's, it's great, okay? So this is a perfect gift as well. It's not gonna break the bank, even if the person does not care about flashlights whatsoever. May, maybe they've never even thought about a flashlight before, they only use their iPhone. You can put one of these on their keys and I promise they'll enjoy it, all right? This is the perfect entry level flashlight. Like this is the best way to get people into flashlights is throw an i3e on their keychain. It runs off of a triple A battery. A three year old can figure out how to use this thing, all right? So actually I know it. Well, actually a, 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 a two year old can use this thing because uh, my girlfriend's nephew literally had an i3e in his hands and he was going like this like just turning it on and off. So a baby can actually use the i3e. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just proving to you guys, like it's a wonderful gift. They're stupid reliable. Um, just put it on people's keychains, you know? I always say that, like if you're going to a family get together, if you're gonna be around a bunch of people, take a box of i3es with you and just start putting it on people's keys. I promise you they'll use it all the time and they'll always remember that you bought it for them, you know? Um, so there you go. There's the i3e, fantastic product, but again, it doesn't have all of those really cool features of the iMini 2, so you have to think about like, what would you prefer? Now, let's talk about the i1R2 Pro. This is our flagship keychain light. What's up, Dale? What's up, Juan? Thank you guys for tuning in. Kaylin, um, my first i3e was the lime green one. It finally crapped out, so I put the ODG one on my keys. That's awesome. Well. I'm glad to hear that, you know, it worked for a very long time, Kaylin. Again, you know, these are absolute user flashlights. Put it on your keys, scratch it up. That's why they're made, you know? Anyways, um, so we have the i1R2 Pro. This prism color that we've been doing is, is really cool, man. Um, we did the prism uh, i3T in the blue. I think the prism blue is a beautiful color. Um, we actually have a bundle on the website with the Warrior Mini 3 in the blue, and the, it's bundled with the Prism i3T, and that is an awesome bundle. Again, your backup flashlight and your primary flashlight, that's a really good one as well. The price is really low on that one as well. Um, just another example of a way that you can get an additional flashlight 
with the flagship Warrior Mini 3 during the sale. But the i1R2 Pro, I bet most of you guys have already gotten one for free because you put your orders in, right? This is 180 lumens. It's got a five lumen low mode as well, so you don't have to use that 180 all the time. Uh, you know, the five lumens is really nice, again, for looking inside of a bag. Um, I think, you know, for, like, for example, my girlfriend has an i1R2 Pro on her keys, and having that little five lumen mode is fantastic for looking in a purse or something like that. Also, you can throw this thing up to 180 lumens and you can see just how incredibly bright this is out of a flashlight that is about the length of my first two pinky knuckles. It's not even the length of my pinky finger. It goes up to basically that like top joint of my pinky. Like that's how small this flashlight is. Um, it looks amazing in the prism color. It's really eye-catching like we have the studio lights in here So you guys can actually see me but like The the light is bouncing off of it and it has this really kind of fun effect I, I like this prism thing that we're doing. I hope we continue doing it um, It's got a large split ring. It has the exact same split ring as the i3e And then of course this one is USB type C rechargeable and we even managed to stick an indicator light inside of the body so it goes from red to green when it's fully charged. Again, just a really cool feature. Um, you know, these indicator lights I think are important because you need to know when the light is finished charging so you can unplug it, throw it back on your keys and, and be good to go, okay? But again, with the i3e and the i1R2 Pro, you gotta either take your keys with you to plug it in or you have to actually use the split ring and remove the product from your key ring to be able to charge it that way. The i1R2 Pro typically like, you know, if I have one on my keys and I'm charging it, I've got the iMini 2 on my keys right now. Um, you know, obviously working here, my EDC changes quite frequently. Um, I think my EDC changes much more than, than the regular person because of the fact that like, I gotta test these products, I gotta use them myself, I gotta integrate these products into my life so that way I can actually have a real conversation with you guys as a user of these products, you know what I mean? So I'm always testing out new products, I'm always you know, carrying a different flashlight in my pocket because I just wanna experience them and you know, learn about them and figure out what I like and don't like about these products. One of the things about the i1R2 Pro is that if you're gonna plug it in, like you gotta take your keys with you, you know? So I'll actually have like my keys on the table and then I'll have my i1R2 Pro plugged in. But while my i1R2 Pro is charging, I can't have my keys where I usually have them, which is on a hook near my front door, you know? Like I walk in my front door, I put my keys on the hook, you know, and I move on so that way I don't lose my keys. All I'm explaining is that like, it's a little bit annoying to charge these products that you can't actually remove from the keychain easily. But are they reliable? Is the performance fantastic? Are they actually really good flashlights? Of course they are. Of course they are. So I'm just, I'm just giving you guys ideas. I'm just thinking about the things that I do with these keychain lights, how I use them, the things I like and don't like about them, um, and you guys can decide which ones that you wanna put on your keys. Considering that most of the people watching this video love Olight, I would assume a lot of you guys probably have all of these models already or you're going to get all of these models. They're low in cost and they're all fantastic flashlights. You really could, I mean, you know, if you're used to buying Olights, if you have a flashlight collection, you might as well just try them all out. They're not expensive whatsoever. And you can decide which ones you like or don't like, and maybe you can put the i3e somewhere else, you know, uh, and not on your keys. Um, maybe the i1R2 Pro, it might be better to put like a little lanyard on it and use it as like a fifth coin pocket flashlight. I have the Timascus, uh, you know, titanium Damascus one um, of the uh, i, let's see, is it, it's the iXV actually. Um, we, we did the titanium Damascus version of this light, which is basically an i1R2 Pro with just a different milling pattern on it. You guys know about that. But what I did is I put a lanyard on it because I didn't want to put it on my keys and scratch it up. So I put a big lanyard on it, similar to the one on this tool. And then I actually throw that in my little watch 
pocket. You know, the little fifth coin pocket? Right now I'm wearing like tactical pants, but if you're wearing jeans, you know your little fifth coin pocket, the little watch pocket, like you could just slip the i1R2 Pro in right there instead and have it attached to a lanyard. You can just grab the lanyard and have it as a backup flashlight. So it's just another way that you could carry it. It doesn't have to be on your keys. Anyways, that is the keychain lights, all right? Again, guys, you can have the ability to either get the i3e or the i1R2 Pro in the orange color for free, depending on what kind of account you have. If you guys have ordered from us before, which I think most of the people watching this, you know, you, you've ordered from us before, um, you know, for you guys, you're gonna get an i1R2 Pro for free, which 180 lumen light with USB type C charging for free, I think is ridiculous. Like the quality of this thing is amazing. I can't believe we're giving these things away for free, but you know, that's what we're doing. <laughs> so take advantage of it guys, because this is a really good opportunity to get a great light for free. Anyways, let's start talking about pocket knives. Let's start talking about pocket knives. Again, guys, we do have the iMini 2 uh, bundled with the Warrior Mini 3. That's a really good one to take advantage of. The Warrior Mini 3s are fantastic, by the way. That's why I've got them on the table here. I'm not gonna talk about them that much, but they're fantastic. So let's talk about knives. We've got the brand new Freeze. What's really cool about this one is we have a beautiful Warncliffe blade. Also, the action on this knife is absolutely fantastic. If you guys have tried any of the O-Knife models, you'll know that the action on these knives, they're ball bearing flippers. The detent is super dialed in. Like, I mean, I can either push on it really hard, right? And then it's going to fly out, of course. I can light switch it. So you basically just pull down and you can easily open it that way. But look how, I hope you guys can realize like I'm about to barely press on the flipper tab. I, <laughs> like, I can't get it to not open all the way. That's how good the detent is. You know how sometimes you can like make it where it, no, I can't even, like, you know some knives you can barely press on it and maybe it'll kind of go like this. I can't even do that with this knife. Like, no. I'm, I'm trying to have it not open fully. No, I can't do it. That's how good the detent is on this knife. By the way, just to let you guys know, like if you're ever trying to see like if the detent is good on a knife, that's when you know it's good, is if there's no way that you can misfire with the flipper tab. There's no way, if you press on this flipper tab and you break the detent, there's no way that it's not gonna open up all the way. This is the perfect detent. Um, and I love the Warncliffe blade, man. This is like very, very aggressive. You've got this piercing tip right here. This is no joke. Um, you could definitely cut yourself with this knife, so please be careful with them. But you've got this flat edge that is extremely long because of this Warncliffe design, and it's very easy to cut with, and it's also very easy to sharpen because you've got this, just this flat edge. There's no recurve. There's no tanto going on. There's no multiple angles that you have to deal with. It's just one big straight long edge, which again is very useful for all types of cutting tasks, but also it's very easy to sharpen because sharpenability, I know that's like kind of a goofy word, but like sharpenability um, is, is a very big thing when you buy a pocket knife because you need to make sure that you can actually maintain it and use it properly over time, not just when you first get it, you know? So, um, I mean, it's just fantastic. Like the green with the, uh, sorry, the green aluminum scales that are a matte finish, kind of a stone wash finish, gives you a really nice grip. Now, these are smooth scales. It doesn't have all this aggressive milling and knurling on it but it is stone washed and it has kind of a grip sensation to it. This isn't a slippery scale by any means. Um, and again, it is aluminum, so it does have a nice weight to it as well. Um, it's under four ounces. It's like right around like three and a half ounces, um, which is really, again, in that sweet spot of how you want a pocket knife to be. 
It has a deep carry pocket clip. I'll put it in my left pocket just to give you an example. Um, but you can't, you can't see the knife. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't really see the knife in your pocket. So it is fully concealed, especially with that deep carry clip that is black. Um, the liners are black. The hardware is black. So the whole knife is just black and green, which is a cool colorway. Um, I mean, it's got 154 CM steel. I, I can't think of anything that I don't like about this knife. You know what I mean? Like the only thing that I could think about is maybe it would be cool if we did like a titanium version. Um, but that's just me asking for different versions of the knife. But in terms of the design, the fit and finish, the detent, the pocket clip, I, I mean, it's got a nice early lockup. It's got thick liners. This thing's a bank vault, no side to side play, no up and down. I mean, it's just awesome. Centering is perfect. Like it's everything that you could, that you could ask for. Okay. It's really, really awesome. All right. So if you guys want to pick up a knife that isn't that expensive, um, let me go ahead. I, I've got my computer down here. I just want to show you the details on this one. Okay, so the overall length is 7.45 inches. Blade length on, on this one is actually a little bit shorter at 3.26 inches. Um, thickness is 0.11, so it is a slicer. 3.39 ounces, so again, around three and a half ounces for this, like I said. 154 CM steel, aluminum scales. I mean, it's really fantastic. So anyways, that is the Freeze One. Really great. I could do this all day. The fidget factor with the Freeze 1 is ridiculous. Now we have the Freeze 2. I'd say the Freeze 2 has the most aggressive detent out of all of them. There's no way you're gonna misfire with this knife. Watch how fast this, this blade flies out of this handle. My God. <laughs> this is incredible, guys. This is remarkable. I love the copper version of this. The Freeze 2 is fantastic. Um, easily one of my favorite knives that we make. This drop point blade is gorgeous. It's got this swedge on the top. It's got jimping really deep onto basically the middle of the blade. Four finger grip. You've got this really large flipper tab that has jimping on it. And the detent is just stupid on this thing. God, look at that guys. <gasps> it's incredible. We also, you know, the CF version is fantastic as well. Again, just absolutely insane detent. Fires out one of the fastest firing knives that I own for sure. Uh, again, it's got the deep carry clip, basically the exact same clip that the Freeze has, the brand new Freeze that we have on sale. So similar, uh, you know, in terms of uh, the clip, in terms of the size, um, obviously the blade profile is completely different because the freeze is a worn cliff, um, which is really cool. We haven't done that before in the freeze lineup, something brand new. Um, and, uh, it's great. So, uh, magnet cut knife steel would be top notch. The price would be top notch as well. Brand Brandano. Um, I like that name by the way. Um, it, magnet cut is, is like high end, like really expensive stuff. So I've mentioned this before when we've talked about our, the O Knife series is we want to give you the best value and I think that's the case for every product that we make. We want to give you the most for your money. That's why we're selling bundles with the Warrior Mini 3, one of the most advanced pocket lights that is literally on the market with the most features I've ever seen on a pocket light. And we're selling it with another product for less than 70 bucks. Um, obviously pretty much all of our products, the value is there. You get a lot for your money with Olight. That's part of why we're so popular. Just being honest with you, like you're not getting a bad deal from Olight. You're getting a lot for your money. Um, and we want to keep it that way with the O knife models. If we're selling $250 knives, we're getting into this category that we kind of don't really want to get into. You know what I mean? 
Um, we, we want to keep the price a little bit lower on these knives while still giving you a premium product. We don't want to sell cheap knives, but we don't want to sell knives that are just out of people's price range. Um, so because of that, having MagnaCut and M390 and like all of these crazy super steels that you see on knives that cost 200 plus dollars, um, you know, I, I'm not sure if that's where we're gonna go with the brand. Um, would I love to see uh, a Freeze 4 with a Timascus clip and, a, and an M390 blade? Of course, of course I would. But would the price be double? Of course it would, you know? So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, I think the Freeze 3, the fact that it has Damascus for the price is insane. Um, these are like around a hundred bucks, maybe even less than a hundred bucks when they came out with Damascus steel, um, which I thought was pretty remarkable. So again, I mean, we're just giving you a lot for your money. That's what we do here. The Freeze 3 is just a completely different knife. It's massive, right? It's basically this folding cleaver. It does have the choil, which I think is absolutely necessary with something like this. If you want to, you know, sharpen a stick or something like that, um, this is a fantastic knife for that. Again, just like the Warncliffe design, you're basically getting a completely flat edge. So even though the Freeze 3 is like a super aggressive design, um, you know, you're, it's still really easy to sharpen. Like when you see it, you're like, oh my God, look at that thing. But when you actually look at it, it's basically just a straight edge. Um, very, very easy to sharpen. Again, just like the Warncliffe design with the Freeze. So, um, you know, the Freeze 3, a completely different knife. It's absolutely massive. Um, this is more of like a collector style knife. Uh, for me personally, I don't really carry knives that look like this that much, but do I have one in my collection and do I absolutely love it? For sure. I have the GAUR as well, G-A-U-R, if you guys remember that knife. And it's one of the biggest folding knives I've ever seen in my entire life. And I absolutely love it, but do I carry it that often? Not really, but is that fine? Of course it is because, you know, I like collecting knives and I don't need to have the same knife over and over and over again. It's fun to buy things that are a little bit impractical that just simply look really cool. But again, if you wanna prep food with this thing, if you wanna carve up some sticks, if you wanna do some woodwork with it, whatever you wanna do, like you could totally choke up on this blade and do whatever you want with it. So again, the Freeze 3, really, really cool. Now we have the Freeze 4, which is another offering for this sale. These are only like 125 bucks during the event, which is insane because of the fact that it is a titanium frame lock. It's got a 3D milled, completely milled out clip, so it no longer has the wire clip like the rest of the knives. Again, extra work, extra expense, but you're still paying a low price for what you're getting. Um, and then what's really interesting about this is the fact that it has interchangeable blades. So you're getting one knife and it actually comes with two blades. We've got the Tonto right here, and then we have the drop point right here. Now what's really cool about this is if you take a Torx, and this is a little titanium tool, by the way, just a quick plug. We're selling these on Obi. Um, they're not on olightstore.com. Our sister company, obi.com, is also having a really awesome flash sale uh, during this week, the summer sale. Um, one of the products they have on that site, and I, I highly suggest picking this up because the price is low. I think these are like maybe around 20 bucks, but it's this titanium pocket tool. And here's this little arm and you open this up and it actually has the bits inside of it. And you can remove those bits, put, uh, and then basically use it as a Torx driver, right? Um, and it's made out of titanium. And we put this little fun lanyard on here as well. Uh, to show you just how cool it looks, all right? But anyways, you can pick these up from Obi. Um, if you haven't bought anything from Obi anymore, they also have a wheel that you can spin over on that site. Um, so I, I would check it out. There's all kinds of camping gear and all kinds of stuff on that site. But anyways, um, basically you take a Torx T6 and all you gotta do is basically unscrew and you know what? I, I know this might be a little bit boring, but like, let me just do it here because I want to show this to you guys. So I believe T6 is this one and there we go. 
So I'm going to unscrew it. I'm going to do that. And there we go. So I just removed the drop point blade from the Freeze 4. You can see there, all right? Okay. And then basically to put it back on, you're basically just going to, and let me just put this in here. Uh, I think I didn't unscrew it enough, but you guys get the idea. I know I'm like on the spot right now, but basically you just put it back in here. There we go. It's back in. And let me just tighten this back up. Do, do, do. Let me tighten it back up. And we are tight. So there we go. No movement whatsoever. It's a bank vault once again, okay? So I basically, I just showed you guys, I just removed the blade from here. It's basically just one T6 and it, there's the T6 is inside of the stud right here. You unscrew it there and then you remove the blade and then you basically just put it back, tighten it up and it's back in business, okay? Um, so there you go. I just did the blade removable, removal process and then I just put the blade back on the knife. So there you go. On the spot, live video, just took a knife apart and put it back together. Let's go. <laughs> so anyways, we got the Tonto blade here as well, all right? Um, and it comes with it, it comes with it. So you're only paying like 125 bucks and you're getting a titanium frame lock knife. Ball bearing, fantastic action. And it comes with two 154 CM blades. And also it's got that milled clip and it has the uh, milled backspacer as well made out of titanium. Also, it is uh, pocketed in the inside of the handle. So basically what we do is we mill out these like little squares inside of the handle. I think if you guys know knives, you know what I'm talking about. And it gives us the ability to make the knife more balanced, right? And it removes weight from the knife so it doesn't feel as chunky in your pocket. Also, it does have a lock bar insert so it's not titanium on steel. Um, so that means the knife is going to last longer over time. So you can see there's a little screw right there in the lock bar and that's holding in the steel insert so it's steel on steel contact so it's not gonna wear out over time, okay? It's all the features you could possibly want from a titanium frame lock knife and it even comes with two blades and you guys just saw how easy it is to replace the blade. And again, um, you know, I, I know you guys aren't here touching the knife with me, but this thing's a freaking bank vault, guys. Like, there's no side-to-side -side movement, there's no up and down, I mean, it's, it's great. And look at the action, okay? Because of the way this blade is made, it's a pretty thick blade. This is a very beefy knife. Because of that, obviously, simply just the fact that it's ball bearing and the blade is kind of heavy, the action is wonderful. It's buttery smooth. Um, uh, the, so we've got Olight employees all over the US, right? Um, you know, Justin, who helps us out with Instagram, he's in Washington. Uh, we got some guys in Virginia. Um, you know, we got some guys in the South. Um, so we talk a lot on Skype. Uh, we typically Skype each other, right? And last night we were having a conversation about the Freeze 4 and we were all talking about the fact that it is super buttery smooth. Um, we were like, dude, the action on this knife is probably one of the best we've ever done. Um, and so we were all kind of like internally on Skype just talking about how smooth the action is on this knife because it just really is, it's just dialed in guys. It's fantastic. I think you guys are really gonna like this one. Also what's cool about it is if you're a collector like me, uh, it's something that you don't own yet. Do you own a removable blade titanium frame lock folding knife? Probably not. So it's something interesting for your collection. At the very least, if you're a collector, I would pick this up just to have something new, you know? So there's that. Also, I got the Drever on the table just to show that to you. Drever is actually the first O knife that we ever made. And then the Roboto, which has our rail lock system. 
Um, I'm sure you guys are familiar with this type of locking mechanism. The Roboto is also, again, just an absolutely wonderful thumb stud knife that has a totally different mechanism, but it has this really cool G10 handle. It even has holes in the handle so you can see the liners inside of it. I think that's really interesting. Um, and then it has the blue accents. It's just, the Roboto is really cool. Uh, we even did this one in green, I believe as well. Um, so another just really fantastic knife that I wanted to have on the table just to show it to you with the other ones, okay? Um, and that's pretty much what's going on. I think that's like all I really wanted to talk about. Again, guys, um, these little tools are on Obi if you wanna pick them up from Obi. We also have a lot of other stuff on that website. Again, it's our sister company. We're the same company. Um, I know it's a little confusing because you're like, wait, this isn't Olight, but actually we are the same company. Um, it's just a different brand that we have under the same umbrella. And again, Warrior Mini 3 guys, pick up the bundles with the keychain lights. Please make sure to at least get your free keychain light during this event. This sale is going until Friday night while supplies last. So you have the ability to pick up not only the brand new models that we offer, but also pretty much everything that we make is discounted on the website right now. We have the build your own bundle section. We call it the DIY, so do it yourself bundle section. Um, and there you can actually uh, you know, add multiple items together and achieve a bigger discount up to 40% off for those products. Again, pretty much everything on the website is up to 40% off and each product listing on the website will show you the discount that you're getting. So it's fully transparent. If you look at a product and you look at the price, you can look at it and say, oh, this is 35% off. Oh, this one's 38% off. This one's 40% off. So like everything's fully transparent. You know what deal you're getting. You know what discount you're getting. All you gotta do is just look at the website and check it all out, okay? Um, flipper tabs are the easiest for me to use. Kaylin, I, I really like flipper tabs because I mean, think about it. All you do is just press down on it. You got to keep your hand away from the blade, of course. Anytime you open and close a knife, you need to make sure that all of your fingers are on the handle and not over the blade. That's self-explanatory. But all you got to do is just kind of hold it, make sure your fingers aren't in front of the blade and press down on the tab and that's it, you know? It's like super easy to do. If you guys don't have a flipper knife at home yet, um, I would try it out because it's pretty addicting. I remember when I got my first flipper knife, which was probably like 10 years ago. Um, and it was just, I was like, gosh, this is so cool, man. Like you just pull down on this tab and it just flies open. Like it's amazing. Um, freeze and freeze four are the new products for this sale. We do have the freeze two on the website. Uh, the Freeze 3 is not on the website. If you guys remember, these sold out like super fast. They went kind of viral when they, when they were released. Um, so because of that, we don't have the Freeze 3 on the website, but we have the Freeze, the Freeze 2, and the Freeze 4 discounted on the site right now. And they're all fantastic. Pick whichever design you like. They're all just wonderful fit and finish, detent, build quality, all that stuff. You can't go wrong. Just pick whichever one that you actually like the most, you know? Flippers 101, I know, I know. Um, I know that most of you guys you know, know about how to use knives. I'm not saying you guys don't know how to use knives. I'm just talking as if you know, I'm talking to people who maybe have never owned a flipper knife before. Um, so you know, this is a video not only for the veterans that are watching right now, but really for anybody. Maybe there's some people watching this video who are thinking about purchasing their first pocket knife. Um, so you know, that kind of stuff is really exciting. Uh, I have several flipper knives, awesome. Uh, not all are O knives, but I use more uh, than my other folders. Very good, absolutely. Um, will we ever get a higher powered U UV light? I uh, would absolutely love to see one. So Fox at Outdoors, um, we are planning on making more lights that have UV function. Obviously, I can't really like talk about it yet. Um, you know, I'm not here to talk about you know, unreleased products and things like that. Um, but just know, yes, uh, we, we are planning on continuing our journey with UV technology. Um, so, you know, if you're, if you're wanting a new UV Olight in the future, um, keep paying attention to the brand. Keep following us on YouTube, follow us on our Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff, um, because you, you might be happy. 
uh, in the near future, you know? Uh, will Olight ever get into the battery banks like Nightcore? <sighs> Probably not. So uh, here's the thing. And so, so in order to actually create battery cells, you basically have to have a factory that is not only kind of dangerous, but also these battery factories cost like a billion dollars. There's actually only a small handful of companies that are actually creating battery cells. Um, that's Panasonic, Samsung, Sony, like the biggest players in technology. Those are the guys who are actually creating the cells. Uh, the Olight batteries that you guys have, a lot of times they're customized Panasonics or Samsungs. Um, so, you know, they're, they're really high quality cells, but by no means are we a company that's large enough to build a factory that costs a billion dollars to create cells, right? So a lot of that stuff from, you know, the, the battery banks and the, and, the, and the chargers and all of that, a lot of that stuff is like OEM stuff. So a lot of it is like being produced in these small handful of factories. And these companies are maybe doing a couple design changes and they're putting their name on it, right? So here at Olight, like we, we like to actually like have our own stuff. Of course, we do a few things with OEM. We do have some supplier partners, but a lot of the stuff that we do, um, you know, we are creating, we're designing, we're, we're, a lot of this stuff, we're, we're doing it on our own. And that's part of the reason why Olight is so special because you really just can't get products like this from other brands. Like you're not gonna get a Warrior Mini 3 from another brand. This has so much technology in it that only we do at Olight. If you want a product like this, you need to buy it from Olight. And again, I suggest buying it from our website while it's discounted. And then you get the full warranty, you get the loyalty points for your account, you get the free keychain light, all of that good stuff. So we don't really, we're not that interested in getting into the business of just like, you know, buying all this stuff from like other factories and rebranding it and all that. Like we want to have like kind of our own thing, you know? So I think in terms of the power banks and all of that, which is also a very saturated market, you can buy that stuff from Anchor or whatever. Um, you know, we probably just won't get into that just to be honest with you. Um, but again, from the Obi website, we do sell other companies' products. Obi is not only just for Olight products, um, but we sell a lot of companies' products. We partner with a lot of companies. It's almost kind of like a marketplace. Um, but again, we also have our own brands like Olife. We make our own sunglasses. The sunglasses are really cool. Um, you know, there's, there's quite a few things that we do actually do ourselves on that website. But anyways, I'm ranting. You get the idea. Make a night tour with a swivel function uh, and built-in omino based charger. That's a really good idea. That's actually a really good idea. Nice. Um, we, you know, I, we're not in the middle of making that, but that's a really good idea. I'll let them know about that. Um, the upgraded Warrior Mini 3 bezel makes it easier to see if the light is on uh, when it's sitting bezel down. Oh, wow, Brandano. That's a really, really, really good comment. Dang, all right. So what he's saying is the new Warrior Mini 3 bezel is more aggressive than the Warrior Mini 3s. So the peaks and the valleys of the actual uh, bezel here is larger. So the holes, like the holes that you see when it's sitting on a table is actually larger because of the fact that the peak and the valley of each tooth of the bezel is larger. So if you have the Warrior Mini 3 sitting on a table, bezel down, and you turn it on like low or medium mode, the light will actually come out of those little valleys of the bezel itself. So if you wanna have like really low light, if you wanna just like have something on the table just to put a little light on the table, you're completely right. The front bezel does help with that and it is much better than the Warrior Mini 3's design. That's a feature that I didn't even really think about but you're totally right. Awesome comment. I was shocked to see Lynch clips on Obi. Ben, you're right. And that's what I was just referring to. We work with a lot of amazing brands um, to sell their products on Obi. Uh, crap, we have tactile turn uh, uh, pens. Um, we have a couple Fellholter pen models. 
Um, we did the copper shed, which those sold out in like a few minutes. Um, so you can't get those anymore. The copper shed multi-tools. Um, we have Griffin pocket tools, which is my friend Casey. Uh, he's one of the best in the business, one of the best guys that I know. Um, Griffin pocket tool is one of the best keychain tools that you can get. There's all kinds of really cool stuff on Obi. Um, I would check it out. And again, they're having a sale over there. So pretty cool. Um, let's see, any other questions? Will I be able to buy a replaceable blade? That's another really, man, you guys have really good questions today. Um, <laughs> George, I'm not 100% sure about how these blades are gonna sell after we've been selling the knives. Obviously, I personally think it would be cool for us to figure out how to offer maybe a couple other blade versions. Obviously, it's dependent on if the blade can actually fit into the handle. I think it'd be really cool if we could figure out how to do maybe a Warncliffe design as well and sell that on the website. But if the demand is there, if people are asking like, hey, can I buy more blades for my Freeze 4? I don't see any reason why we wouldn't be able to just put the blades on our website separately. But we want to make sure the demand is there. We want to make sure that people want to actually buy these blades, considering the fact that you're getting two of them when you first purchase the knife and most knives, you only get one. I don't know how many extra blades people are going to want to buy, but I don't see why we couldn't sell the blades separately. I mean, we're already offering it anyways. You know what I mean? But it's just another one of those things where it's a business decision. Like, do we want to put a thousand blades on our website if people might not really need them and don't really want to buy them, then that would probably be a bad decision. But if people want to buy them, then of course, man. By the way, I just Spidey flicked this knife. Um, you know, we're not associated with that company whatsoever, but everybody calls it like Spidey flicking, where basically you flick it open with your middle finger, like upside down. It's very easy to do with the Freeze 4. So that's another way to open up this knife is it does have, again, these thumb studs. Again, that's how you actually remove the blade and replace them. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can see here, like, this is really fun as well. So not only the flipper tab, but also you can do that little middle finger flick as well. So very fidgety with the buttery action on the Freeze 4. Um, any more fundraising Olights? Alex, great question. Uh, of course, uh, not right now, but of course we are going to continue doing the fundraising. Um, we love doing Breast Cancer Month. Uh, we love doing the pink lights. Um, we have a wonderful relationship with the Breast Cancer Foundation. Um, we, we donate a lot of money to them every single year. Um, so uh, I, I, I think of course we're gonna continue doing pink for October. Um, we did the autism awareness light, which I thought was very amazing and powerful and just a beautiful thing to do. If you guys purchased the autism awareness lights, thank you so much. All of that money was donated to autism awareness organizations. And that was actually a worldwide one. We did that in many, many different countries. Um, and, and I don't see why we're, we would stop doing that. Um, you know, these are very important things. Um, you know, these are things that, you know, are, are, are a part of life, a part of human beings. Um, and, and so we, we should support that and help out with that for sure. Uh, can you all make the Odin GL tactical flashlight in blue? Again, it's just one of those things where like, is the demand there? Like, I, I wish that we didn't have to worry about, you know, sales volume and inventory and all of that stuff that all companies have to worry about, but we have to worry about it. You know, at the end of the day, we're a business. We have lights to keep on. We have salaries to pay for. We've got a factory that we has to be running. Um, so because of that, we need to make sure that the products that we produce uh, sell well and the, and the demand is there. Now, if we get a thousand emails of people saying, we want blue Odins, heck yeah, we're gonna make them. You know what I mean? But the demand has to be there. And part of the reason why we have our Facebook group, um, I know I'm talking on YouTube right now, but part of the reason why we have our Facebook group is because of the fact that we get information from our fans. So, and, and we actually put it into Excel spreadsheets and we actually look at the data of what our fans are saying on our Facebook group. It's a way for us to understand what people are interested in, what they're looking for. Um, 
So if you really, again, I, I mentioned this a couple of days ago, but if you really wanna have some pull, like if you really want your voice to be heard, join our Facebook group and start making posts about things that you want to see in the future. So if you go to our Facebook group and you say, hey guys, I really want to get a blue Odin. And there's a whole bunch of comments of people saying, oh my God, that would be so cool, man. I, I, I would love to get a blue Odin. That would be powerful. You know what I mean? And they would see that and they would take that note. They would pass it on to the engineers. Maybe it would happen. Who knows? You know? But if you really want to have some pull in this company, if you really want to be a part of the conversation about what colors and products we produce in the future, join our Facebook group. Um, that's a great place to do it. Also, if you hate Facebook and you don't have social media, uh, you can email us as well. Our email address is cs at olightstore.com. Uh, you know, it, we get all kinds of emails, not only, you know, repairs and things like that, or, you know, questions about orders, but also people just email us and they're like, hey, love your products. I would love to see, you know, a, a lime green iMini too. Like we get, we get uh, emails like that as well. So there's many ways to reach out to us. And of course, we take notes on all the things that our customers say. And I think that's part of the reason why we're successful is because we actually make the things that our customers want us to make, you know? Um, Canada needs more products on the website. I hear you, Mark. Uh, you know, obviously uh, the Canada market is, is smaller for us. It's still developing. Um, and obviously logistically uh, it's, it's more complicated. Um, we are trying to, you know, service the Canada market. Uh, you know, we are continuing to expand that market. Um, you know, we're, we're here for uh, our Canadians for sure. Um, you know, that we have a few employees that we hired out there um, to uh, do customer service, to do marketing, um, to answer your questions. Um, so we are putting resources into the Canadian market for sure. Um, and we're continuing, continuing to expand it. But yes, of course, it's not as large as the U.S. market at the moment. But, if, but do we want that market to get huge? Of course we do. Absolutely. Like, if the Canadian market went like this, we would be like, heck yeah, let's go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that would be a dream. Um, so uh, just know that we, we're here for you guys. You know, we're, we're, we're not selling you guys short. Um, but, you know, it is a slower process to build up that market than it is here in the U.S. Uh, uh, Canada loves Olight. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, uh, quick word. Yeah. So uh, we've had a lot of uh, people talking about the clip orientation on this light. The engineers are aware of your guys' concerns. Um, and just to let you guys know, they are working on some solutions to that um, that would not require you to purchase a new Warrior Mini 3. I can't really talk about details yet because nothing is, you know, actually created yet. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the engineers are looking at some solutions on how to retrofit the Warrior Mini 3 to be able to have a clip that is bezeled down. Okay? So... I can't guarantee it, but there's most likely going to be a solution in the future to where you'll be able to carry your Warrior Mini 3 bezel down, all right? Um, we're looking at maybe doing some attachments and things like that um, to the tail cap in order to be able to put the clip on the back. Um, so so we, we have heard your guys' um, you know, feedback on that, and we're looking at solutions. The good news though, is the fact that this actually is a good pocket clip. I know people want it to be flipped upside down, but the pocket clip itself really is good. Um, it's bigger, it's thicker, it's stronger than the one on the Warrior Mini 2, for sure, 100%. I showed it in the video a couple days ago. Um, that's a guarantee that it is a stronger clip and it will um, definitely break a lot less than the ones on the Warrior Mini 2, that's a guarantee. But again, for the people who want to carry a bezel down, we, we've heard your concerns, absolutely. Um, we've seen the comments. The engineers are very aware, um, and they're already looking at you know, designing some things um, to help out with that, okay? It's just something to, to keep in mind, all right? So uh, again, though, nothing set in stone. I'm not announcing anything right now. 
I just wanna be fully transparent with you guys and let you know what we're currently doing here at the company uh, to help out with that concern, okay? Build it and they will come. I feel you, soul survivor, I feel you. Um, the Warrior Mini 2 clip is super flimsy, Steve. Yeah, this is much thicker. It's longer, it's thicker. It also has these four arms on the body of the light instead of just the thinner, smaller, just two arms going around it. So the actual connection between the clip and the light is much stronger as well. I mean, this is, I know it's annoying, like you can hear it on my microphone, but like this thing is strong, guys. It's a good clip, like, yeah, it's a good clip. It's strong, you're not gonna break it, um, but, uh, but yeah. Um, I don't have any real news about it yet, but they are working on some things to, to help you guys out with that. So, um, so there could be some really good news in the near future for the Warrior Mini 3 beyond just all of the new features, but for the clip as well, okay? Need a blue Baton 3 Pro. Um, yeah, Baton 3 Pro, again, another uh, amazing flashlight. Um, super reliable, oh my gosh. Uh, we rarely, if ever, hear about issues about any of the Baton series lights. Part of that is we've been making them for over 10 years and we're really good at making Baton series lights at this point, so yeah. Um, got my order today, new, new O-Lantern Mini and Marauder Mini as well as other stuff. Byron, thank you so much. Great choices, by the way. The O-Lantern Mini has been a ton of fun. It's just the perfect light for if you guys are doing anything outdoors. Marauder Mini is, the ultimate flashlight. You got throw, you got flood, you got RGB, you got the removable battery, you got the magnetic charging, you've got the lumen level indicator, the battery level indicator, you've got the rotating switch, uh, you got the aggressive bezel. I mean, it's just, the Marauder Mini is just one of the best flashlights that exist. My favorite Olight is the uh, uh, M2 Warrior Pro, right on. That's a very popular light. Um, you know, obviously we've come out with the Warrior 3S, the newer version of that light, but I think we're always going to make a light in that same type of design um, because of the fact that it's just so damn good, you know? Uh, uh, we don't have the GAR here, um, but I was talking about it earlier. I have one in my collection uh, back home in the States, um, but I did mention the GAR because um, it's just a massive, awesome knife. Any i3R? Um, so again, I can't really talk about like future products. Um, I would love to see that. I think it would be really, really cool. Um, I don't really have any news right now about a rechargeable i3 model, um, but, uh, but I totally hear you. Um, you know, the i5R is incredible, but I know there's a lot of people who really like the, uh, the three shape and size um, versus the five. Um, because you know it's much smaller. It's got that triple A battery body versus the double A battery body, making it a much smaller flashlight. But i3R would be really, really cool. I hear you, Alex. Uh, Roadster Baton 3 charging case. Wow, um, Mark, that would be really cool. Um, I think it depends on how many Roadster lights that we sell. You know what I mean? I, I, I think it, it really just depends. Um, that would be really cool though, to have a matching case that kind of has that old school kind of muscle car look to it for sure. Another really great suggestion. You guys have awesome comments today, by the way. Um, who's the OEM for the Beagle? So uh, we have a couple different uh, companies that we work with. Um, I believe the Beagle is probably Kaiser. We've done a lot of work with Kaiser. We even sell Kaiser uh, knives on Obi. Um, but, uh, but a lot of the knives that we make are made by Kaiser. Um, then we have a couple other partners as well. Um, obviously the standards here at Olight are extremely high. Um, you know, when, when we are working with a company to produce these pocket knives, we go through many, many iterations, many prototypes, many changes, um, and we make sure the fit and finish is perfect before we ever even think about actually producing a production run to be able to sell to you guys on our website. Um, so uh, I know that the standards are unbelievable on these knives. That's why they're just so dang good, you know? They're just so good. <laughs> this one, 
This copper freeze too feels so much more expensive than it costs. Unbelievable. The detent on this thing. Anyways, I'm just rambling at this point. Uh, <laughs> Kaiser makes a really good knife. Uh, you're absolutely right. They're one of the best. Again, value for the money, amazing. Secret 4 Mini, difference between cool white and neutral white and what's better. Oof, um, okay. So better should be in quotes like what you just said <laughs> because of the fact that it kind of is personal preference. So I will be honest with you guys, cool white flashlights are brighter than neutral white flashlights. If you are a person who wants the brightest flashlight that you can get, you will be purchasing cool white. But if you want the light to look as natural as possible, if you wanna see the most detail possible when you're shining the flashlight at something when it's dark, neutral white is better. Personally for me, this is kind of my, my flashlight journey. When I first started getting into flashlights, I thought more lumens was always better. I was like, I, I, I'd, I'd look online and I'd say, all right, what's the brightest one? That's what I want, done. That's, that's all I cared about, just whatever's brighter. Now I'm kind of evolving and moving on in my kind of flashlight tastes and my journey with this hobby. Now I'm becoming more of a connoisseur in terms of the actual beam tint. Now I really like neutral white for, you know, EDC stuff. Because of the fact that if you're looking at something up close with a cool white beam, it could potentially wash out some of the details in what you're shining the flashlight at. Keep in mind the Warrior Mini 3 is not only for EDC tasks, but it actually is a tactical flashlight that you can use for, you know, self-defense, if you want to use it on strobe, um, if you want to look at something that's very far away. Um, so in terms of, you know, the fact that this is a tail switch light and it is somewhat of a tactical light, I think the cool white is fine. But if you're just going to have just a regular pocket light, if it's just an EDC light, if it's just to help you look for things at night, I think neutral white is better, okay? So it depends. What are you using your light for? How are you using it? Um, what are you looking at with your flashlight? It's just so subjective. Like everyone, if I made a post on social media and I said, what do you like, cool white or neutral white? It would be like cool white, neutral white, cool white, neutral white, the comment section. It's just like, it's like one of the biggest debates in flashlights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so it, 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 it just depends on what you're looking for. That's a very hard question, but a really good question. Uh, I've been asking for a neutral white I3T for years. For the I3T, I think in neutral white that would make sense because it's not the brightest flashlight in the world. You're not gonna be using it for like hardcore tactical stuff. So because of that, neutral white would be nice to have with an EDC light like that. The baton series, I think neutral white with the baton series is great. Also neutral white with a headlamp is really great. The Perrin 2 Mini that's for sale right now in the OD green and neutral white is a slam dunk uh, buy. Like, because you have the flashlight on your head, so you're only using the flashlight to see things better, right? So with that neutral white, you can actually see things with much more detail. It's a lot better experience uh, using a neutral white headlamp versus a cool white. Um, Look, if you guys are looking for a good hands-free light, that neutral white OD green parent too many that's on the website right now, that's a good buy. It's a smart buy too. Neutral white headlamps are fantastic. Um, cool. All right, guys, let's go ahead and give away some stuff. Let's give away some stuff. So this is how the giveaway is going to work. It is a global giveaway. Anybody can enter this giveaway. I am going to be giving away a freeze pocket knife. So you have the ability to win a beautiful ball bearing flipper knife, okay? But if this knife is not legal where you live, if you're in the UK, if, if, you're, if you're somewhere where you know that you're not supposed to have this, um, we can talk about another option for you. 
Um, you know, maybe we can do a handheld light for you or something like that, okay? But just know, as long as the freeze is legal in the place that you live, um, we'll be sending out the freeze to you if you win this giveaway that I'm about to do. But again, we're not gonna ship out this pocket knife to somewhere where you can't have it like the UK or something like that, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, you're not gonna get away with getting something you're not supposed to have, all right? Um, but, uh, but this is a, uh, you know, a, a worldwide giveaway. So if you're in the States, you're gonna get the freeze. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if you live somewhere with all these restrictions, you know, we, we gotta play nice with the law, right? So just keep that in mind, okay? So we're gonna do the same way that we did it last time. So I'm going to pick a number between one and 100 in my head. Oh, that's cold, Sean. <laughs> Paul, you're in Virginia. You could definitely win a knife. <laughs> um, okay, so um, I'm gonna pick a number between one and 100 in my head. We're gonna have you guys guess in the comments section about uh, you know what number it is, okay? You can guess multiple times. You can guess as many numbers as you want. Um, you know, whoever has the first right number, numbers, <laughs> whoever has the first right number um, that's in my head, you win, okay? If you win, all you have to do is send me an email to my email address, um, which I'll tell you after you won, and, uh, and, and we'll ship out your free product. Again, knives to the people who can get it, something else to people who are not in the US um, or somewhere where you can have knives, okay? So here we go, guys. We are gonna start the bidding in five, four, three, two, one. We're starting with Tim at 33, which is not right, and just keep guessing, guys. So guess, 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 guess. Okay. Actually, you know what, Alex, Alex, you already won. Alex Neves with uh, 73, 73 was the, was the number that was in my head. So Alex, you, you win, today was quick, wow, well done. Holy smokes, Alex, congratulations brother, congratulations, well done. Uh, hopefully you live somewhere where you can have a knife. <laughs> I would assume so, but uh, Congratulations, well done. All you gotta do is send me an email to Sean, S-E-A-N at olightstore.com, S-E-A-N at olightstore.com. Send me your address, where to ship it, and also send me your phone number to associate with the shipment, okay? So address and phone number, and uh, we'll ship out your free product. So well done, Alex. Really well done. Also, really good questions today as well. Alex, you freaking nailed it today. Well done, well done. Um, yes, congratulations to the winner. Uh, damn, I couldn't type. <laughs> you pimped. I love that name as well. Very nice. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I see some new names in the comment section. I see some familiar names in the comment section. Uh, I love doing these live videos. We actually had a lot of people watching us today. Um, we were up to like easily 200 people at a few points. Uh, there's even 140 watching right now. So this has been a really great live stream. Thank you guys so much for your support. Again, please go to olightstore.com and obuy.com. We have deals and a big, big sale all week on both websites for all kinds of stuff. Uh, these pocket tools are really great. Please pick up the Freeze and the Freeze 4. Holy smokes, they are good knives, especially for the money. The iMini 2 is very innovative. It's such a cool, it's, it's one of the coolest keychain lights that you can get. So many amazing features that you can only get from Olight. We've got the Warrior Mini 3s, which is our most feature-packed, most innovative pocket flashlight that we've ever made. Again, we're looking at ways to make modifications to the pocket clip. We've heard your feedback and all of that. But regardless, it's a fantastic flashlight with amazing performance, reliability, all of that good stuff. Anyways, I've talked a lot. My throat's tired. We're gonna get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching this live video. Go to olightstore.com, buy everything you can while it's on.